Why did it happen? Why did it happen? Simple, because of shale oil and shale gas production here in the United States. Why did it happen? Because the U.S. out OPEC OPEC. How do I mean? What do I mean by that? Well, since 2006, U.S. oil production has increased by about 3.6 million barrels per day. That's the increase. Just the increase in oil production in the United States is equal to the combined oil output of Kuwait and Qatar, both members of OPEC. What about on the natural gas side? Since 2006, domestic oil, uh, natural gas production has increased by 24 billion cubic feet per day. Gas production in the U.S. is up 50 percent just in the last nine years. So what is 24 billion cubic feet per day? What does that mean? It's equal to the entire gas production of Iran and Algeria. We've added, just in the last nine years in the United States, four members of OPEC. We've added Kuwait and Qatar in oil production, and we've added Iran and Algeria in natural gas. We've out OPEC OPEC. And why did that happen? Because of the three R's, rigs, rednecks, and rights. Rigs. We have more rigs than any other country in the world, by far. Texas alone today has about 400 uh, rigs operating. That's more oil rigs that are now operating in Europe. It's more oil rigs that are operating in the Middle East. It's more rigs that are operating in all of Asia. You can have shale. Lots of countries have shale. Lots of regions have shale. Shale is the most abundant form of sedimentary rock on the planet. Canada, Algeria, Argentina, Mexico, Australia, China, all have huge shale resources, but they don't have rigs, rednecks, and rights. They cannot tap their shale because they don't have the technology, they don't have the personnel, and they don't have mineral rights. But before going to mineral rights, let me talk about rednecks, and I use that term respectfully. I'm from Oklahoma, these are my people. You can have the rigs, you can have hydraulic fracturing spreads, you can have all this other technology, but unless you have skilled personnel to operate them, you can't develop the resource. And the U.S. has developed the, the, the drillers, the tool pushers, the welders, the, the truck drivers, the, sand, uh, the, the frack operators over decades. And that employment base, which is now being, uh, is shrinking here in the United States because of the decline in commodity prices, it can't be replicated anywhere else in the world in any kind of, of uh, uh, short order. But let me go on to the third R, rights. The shale revolution did not happen on federal land. It didn't happen on state land. It happened on private land. Nearly all of the new production that I just mentioned has happened on private land. Why? Because if you own the, 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 the land and you own the mineral rights beneath it, you have a big incentive to have that property drilled. You know that if whatever value comes out of the property underneath, or the minerals underneath your feet, you're gonna get at least an eighth, 12 and a half percent. And if you're a sharp negotiator, perhaps far more than that. The motivation to drill here in the United States is great because we allow individuals to own the minerals beneath their feet and that is anomalous around the world. No other country allows it.